Motion detected at the doorbell. What's up guys, I'm Chiggs and I'm back with another video. So today I've got my hands on the newly launched Blink Video Doorbell. Now, first of all, big thanks to Blink for sponsoring this video and sending over the brand new Blink Video Doorbell with the Sync Module 2 to review on my channel so I can give you guys my honest views and opinion of what I think of this product. Now, this is a completely wireless doorbell with a built-in HD camera that also supports motion detection, night vision, and lots, lots more. It only takes minutes to install and you can basically see who is at your door directly on your phone in real time and you can talk to them, instruct them if you're not home and it's just good to see who is at the door before you open the door. The price is very competitive. Also, I've been using the Blink wireless security cameras outside my home for about two years now and they've served me very well. So when I heard about the Blink Video Doorbell, I was quite excited to test it out, especially after seeing how affordable it is for a full featured video doorbell. Now this kit contains everything you need to get started. It's designed for easy installation, so anybody can do it. And I'll show you exactly how to set this up and how it all works. So first of all, inside the box, you will find. So we have a small user manual to help you get started, a bag of screws and fixtures, We've got a wall mounting template for the screws, but also a case opening tool is included in the middle. We also have two wire extenders. You're also getting a power adapter and micro USB power cable. Now this also comes with two back plates or mounts. You've got a regular mount and a handy corner mount should you need it. Now this is the Blink Sync Module 2. So it's the new version. So you actually connect this inside your home close to the router. It will then manage the wireless connection and sync all the recorded data to and from the cloud. Now two AA batteries are included in the box, but you'll notice these are actually lithium batteries. And Blink quotes that the battery will last quite long depending on the number of alerts that you get. And last but certainly not least, the Blink video doorbell itself. So the doorbell is available in two colors to choose from. I've got black, but you can also grab it in white. You've got a nice large button with a LED ring surrounding it and a small LED power indicator just above. You've got a nice full HD lens and it does support infrared night vision. On the back, you've got your battery compartment. Now we're just gonna insert both batteries and close the compartment. So let's begin the setup process. So this is Blink's Sync Module version one. Here's version two. Um, so what I'm gonna do first of all is plug it in. I'm not gonna disconnect the older one um, yet. So let's plug in the new Sync Module. So I'm gonna ignore the old system. I'm not gonna replace that at the moment. I'm just gonna install a brand new Sync Module just to show you how the setup process works. So the power's on. Go ahead and download the Blink app. And you can see I've already got cameras there. If you tap on the plus sign to add a new device, so start with the sync module first and you need to enter the serial number. So turn it over, scan the QR code. Okay, and name the new system. I'm gonna call it Blink 2 for now. So I know it's the Blink module 2. So it should be blinking blue and steady green, which I do have. So tap on discover device, tap on join. So we're basically connecting the Wi-Fi and select the Wi-Fi you want to use. And as you can see, it's only two gigahertz Wi-Fi, so you can't select a five gigahertz Wi-Fi connection. So we're sending Wi-Fi info to the sync module. So right now we are trying to wirelessly connect our router to the sync module. It's actually updating the firmware on the fly. So it's connected to the net. You can see a steady blue light there for the Wi-Fi indicator, and it's found a new firmware and it's already doing the update. So do not unplug, it says it in capitals, don't do anything, let the firmware update complete. So Sync Module 2 added to the Blink 2 system. And you can see the tab at the top, Blink 2, and we've got no cameras. So we need to add a camera now. So hit the add device again, and select the Blink video doorbell. Again, scan the QR. So behind, you can see a QR code of the doorbell, scan it. And it's asking me now to add to an existing system or new. So I know we need to add it to the Blink 2, which is the new module. But I've already inserted the battery, so continue, tap continue. So wait till the LED 
blinks red and mine's already done that so let's tap continue and now it's adding the doorbell to the sync module so these two are now connecting with each other and again updating firmware so we let that firmware update complete again don't interrupt it so now it's asking me do you want to mount the video doorbell or maybe later i'm going to tap on mount just to show you what happens before you get started you will need the following okay continue would you like to wire your blink video doorbell to your chime box no are you going to mount the blink video doorbell in place of an existing doorbell yes most likely turn off the power of your doorbell it just gives you the full instructions on how to remove the old doorbell and how to fit the new doorbell in and how to do everything in a safe way so really straightforward illustrated with instruction on how to get set up now you do get 30 day free trial for cloud storage and there is a blink subscription plan that you need to sign up to but also with the sync module 2 you have the option for free local storage via usb drive so once a day a full backup will go to that usb drive of all the clips generated giving you a local backup of your videos um, so basically we're ready to use this so if i press the button look what happens someone is at your blink video doorbell tap the notification and any second now we will see a live feed there you go just turning off the speaker so we don't get 100 echoes and here we are now here you can play back your videos so you can see all the recorded footage here you can play them back with volume and over here you have the option to delete the clip or save the clip to your phone and you can see at the bottom it says disarm or armed so if you wanted motion activation so that means if somebody comes in front of the camera but doesn't actually press the button um, if you arm this then it will start recording them so this is a really cool feature so the blink alarm system is now armed now if i just wave my hand you can see motion has been detected open it up and it will give you a live feed also that motion has been recorded so if we go to the recorded section immediately you can see with the timing that is how this works a really cool system now all of these clips are not actually saved to your phone these clips are saved to the cloud these are all saved to the cloud so it will save up to 30 days of footage then the oldest clips will start getting automatically deleted so i just want to show you some of the settings and some of the options you have for this camera you can name the camera whatever you like it could be front door back door um, house number whatever you like it gives you information on your battery motion detection it can be activated you've got zones now this is a really cool feature you can tap on an area that you don't want to be in the motion section so it could be this area over here this could be could be another section that you don't want recorded now the gray areas are inactive they will not detect motion in the gray areas now re-trigger time 10 seconds if you're not sure about something you can hit the question mark it's the time after a motion event during which the camera will not detect motion reduced to have a shorter delay between triggers so shortest delay by default 10 seconds it's probably best to keep it on that sensitivity is halfway but you can turn that up um, depending on how you want it i would start with five and then work accordingly clip length so how long will each video clip be it's set to 10 seconds but you can have it longer if you want yes the battery life will drain with longer video clips but sometimes you need at least 30 seconds at least i do um, end clip early if motion stops so we've chosen the clip length to be 30 seconds if after 10 seconds of motion stops the clip can end early so i i always activate that feature with my cameras night vision is on automatic and the infrared intensity is set to low i would leave it like that because we do have street lights as well so it helps but if outside your house there's no street lights and it's pure pitch black darkness then you might want to boost up the intensity of the ir so low is fine for me you may want to turn it up enable audio speaker ringer volume enable recording and you can even set the recording quality and if you select best it will tell you how much internet connection is required or recommended standard will require less and saver will only need 500 kb per second i leave it on standard and standard does look pretty good photo capture you can enable so it will take a photo once per hour when enabled and appear as a collection of photos in the clip roll i don't need it to take photos every hour so i'm leaving that off you can use a blink mini as a chime but i don't have a blink mini in this house 
So we're leaving that alone. And these are basically two step-by-step -step installation guides that you can open at any time. Right at the bottom is your status. So it shows you when it was last updated. It shows you your connection, doorbell to Wi-Fi. We can see full bars because we're right next to the router. And doorbell to sync module, full bars. So once I put this outside, it will tell us how many bars we have and what sort of reception you're getting. If you have an existing Blink camera system, the tabs can be separated at the top, so you can have them both open at the same time. Now, if you want to add your existing camera to the new Blink 2 module, what you're doing is going to the old system. So I've got one camera here. I'm going to it, and I'm going to delete the camera. So I'm deleting the camera from the old system. Then I'm going to the new system, and then I'm going to add that camera. If you've got multiple cameras, this is the easiest way to do it. So I'm adding it right now, and you can see it's asking me to select a sync module. We know it's called Blink 2. So I'm adding it right now. It's looking for the camera. There you go. And I get all these messages from Alexa telling me a new camera is connected. So camera successfully added. Tap on Next. Your device comes with free cloud storage. We know all of that. So now you can see we have two cameras with this Blink system. We've got one outdoor camera, and we've got one doorbell. Both are there on my list. If you've got more cameras, that's all you do. Delete from the old, put it into the new, and eventually once you've moved all the cameras to the new Blink module, you can then turn this Blink module off totally and get rid of it. You will not need it then, and everything will be transferred to the new one. I wanted to show you how easy the transfer process is. Now, installing the doorbell at your front door is very easy. So the arrow shows this way up. So that's where you're gonna fit it. Play, get a screwdriver, screw it in place. And then the actual doorbell, and you can, the actual doorbell will just sit in the groove. And if I push it down, it will click right into place. So that is how easy it is to install this doorbell. Now, let me give you guys a real hands on test. Motion detected at the doorbell. Kids. Sure, if you could just leave it at the door, please. Thank you. Thank you. So there you have it, guys. That was the new Blink wireless doorbell, giving you 1080p video capture. I love the motion detection side of things. So even if someone walks past or towards your door, they will be captured on video and you will be alerted. All captures are stored directly to the cloud, and if you attach a local USB drive to the sync module, then your video clips will be backed up on a daily basis automatically to that drive. Also, the live feeds can be viewed on your smartphone from anywhere in the world. Now, this doorbell also works with Alexa, allowing you to view live video footage with your voice using your Alexa-enabled devices like Echo Show or even a TV or phone that supports Alexa. A few things I do want to mention. There is no indoor chime included. So when someone presses the doorbell outside, you won't hear it inside. Instead, you will hear the same doorbell ring on your phone as a notification alert. So if your phone's on silent, you may miss the alert and you may not know that someone just pressed your doorbell. But that being said, you do have the option to buy the Blink Mini indoor camera which can be configured to act as an indoor chime. Or if you have an existing old school wired chime, you can hook it up to the Blink doorbell. But that being said, you can use an Echo Dot speaker as a chime. Just configure it as a skill from within the Alexa app and that will give you multiple chimes this way. Also, I do need to mention Hiya. there is a very slight delay or lag between your voice meeting the front door. Now, this is quite normal for most 100% wireless cameras. You can still talk to the person on the other side. Even with that slight delay, it does not hinder the effectiveness of this product. It's just something that you will quickly get used to. And even couriers on the other side expect a bit of lag and delay. So they wait patiently for a response. I hope you found this video useful. Do hit that like button if you appreciate my efforts. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have an amazing day. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.